to, to the flag of uh, the, the United, United States, States of America, of America and, and to, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty and justice indivisible. for all. Thank you all so very much. All right. Welcome, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I think we've got a guest, in, I mean, two guests actually in our midst tonight. And we could say three guests or four guests, but at least I, I know who the real guests are. Because we can't call Temi and, uh, and Israel guests anymore. We're just waiting for their membership to come through. Again, welcome. Uh, with that, with, before going any further, I'd really like to turn it over to our guests for them to introduce themselves and give us an idea of uh, what brought them here tonight. Maybe I should start with Hamed. Hamed, can you please uh, put yourself off mute? Introduce yourself and tell us what brought you here tonight. Over to you, Hamed. You're still on mute. Yes, hi, good afternoon, guys. Uh, my name is Ahmed Bin Hassin. Uh, I came here from PMI Houston. Uh, I'm joining Toastmasters to work on my public speaking and to uh, practice my communication skills. Um, a little bit about me, I live here in Houston. I work as a product manager for a manufacturer of wire and cable. Um, and uh, I have my PMP certificate uh, through PMI as well. Thank you. Excellent. And you are the right place tonight, Hamid. Once you are, once you stick around with us tonight during this meeting, uh, you will be able to earn one PDU towards your next PMP renewal. And we've got uh, a senior officer of PMI Houston here, in person of our distinguished Toastmaster, Avi Chad Hurry. Uh, if you connect with Avi, he will be able to link you up with how to claim your PDU. Our VP is also able to help us in person of uh, Dr. Ohe Alba. So these two gentlemen are available resources to you whenever you need them. Moving on, the next uh, guest tonight, I mean, I will probably refer to her as an executive guest because she was one of us before, then she moved away, now she's back, and we're so excited to welcome Ms. Courtney Hatton to our midst again tonight. Courtney, can you please Introduce yourself in the interest of people who are new to the club. What brought you here tonight? Over to you, Courtney. Well, thank you so much, Toastmaster Keen. I do not feel like I'm a member um, at all. In fact, I am planning on rejoining. I've been away from the community for some time, but I'm ready to get re-engaged. So I'm so happy to see some familiar faces and some new faces on the call tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much, Toastmaster Courtney. Uh, we've got Israel here and uh, Tammy. They are working on their membership right now. Maybe I shall ask Israel to introduce himself and what brought him here tonight. Yes, Israel. Well, thank you. Um, my name is Israel Johannes. I'm a civil engineer by trade. I'm also a certified uh, project manager, pro management professional uh, through PMI. Um, what brought me here is I'm working on my uh, uh, public speaking abilities, um, trying to learn. And I'm so happy that uh, I joined this team, this group, because we have a lot in common and uh, I have a lot to learn from you guys. Thank you very much, Ishra. And again, if you are a PMP, make sure you take advantage of the PDUs. I've never had to claim a PDU because I do a lot of other things for PMI. Yeah, that's uh, a great news. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You uh, For every meeting you attend, you earn yourself one PDU. And you realize that in a year alone, you will yeah. have more than 20 PDUs by coming to the meeting. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. Uh, Tammy, maybe I should ask you to reintroduce yourself to us. You, I know that you are on the cusp of becoming a full member of this club, but we see you as a member already. But for the sake of those who don't know you, Tammy, if you will 
put yourself off mute if you have access and then introduce yourself. I think she's, she's having some access uh, issues. All right, let's move on. With all that said, I will now turn the control over to the Toastmaster of the meeting tonight, which is me. So as the Toastmaster tonight, I'd really like to uh, welcome you all to this important meeting because it is the meeting before the area contest. And we've got uh, the Division M area contest holding next Saturday, not this one, but next Saturday, the 4th of March. Uh, the good news is that I am the Division M director and I'm so, so pleased that we have two representatives at the area contest this year. So thanks, many thanks to uh, our very good friend, Soma and uh, Ohe for stepping up to say they will represent our club. Thank you all so very much. That is an inspiration to a number of us. And I'm sure I, I'm looking at many people who will be able to represent our club in the next year. So thank you both, uh, Ohe and Soma, for uh, inspiring us and for stepping up to represent our club. Now, tonight, the theme of our meeting is Make Others Better. And I know we've got a grammarian who is going to talk briefly about respect. And uh, Israel, I'm going to let you talk about it at the right time. But for now, for me, I have learned a lot of lessons in my life. When I was disrespectful knowingly, when I was disrespectful unconsciously, and when people misconstrued me to the point that they thought I was disrespectful. This is not a story of what happened last year or two years ago, or even five years ago, but it's years and years ago. But I've learned a lot of lessons. Being respectful does not mean that, as we do in my native Nigeria, it doesn't mean that you prostrate for everybody. No, that is not what respect is. And respect tonight, I'm sure, based on what we've got on the agenda, Israel will be able to define it for us. This is particularly important to me because at least I've got somebody in this audience tonight who knows that we have another gathering where this is very similar to what we're kind of looking at this week. I want to challenge you all to ask yourself, where, where and when have you been disrespectful? It may be this morning. It may be yesterday, it may be last week, it may be last month, it may be last year, it may be two years ago, it may be 10 years ago. Reflect on where you have been, reflect on where you are going. And how are you going to move from where you are now to where you are going based on your learnings by being disrespectful or by seeing someone? Because respect or being disrespectful doesn't really mean that you are being disrespectful. Sometimes, it, it hurt us so badly when we see people disrespect others. And I just want us to be advised and encouraged tonight. I want us to be inspired, most importantly, to see what is it that we can do with respect that will make others better, that will make our world better, such that people will see the values that motivates the choices that you make, such that the world around you will see you as an expression of itself. Whatever I see that we can take away from this meeting tonight, I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. I will not be able to do all the work tonight. I've got an able eval general evaluator and our evaluation team. So to introduce uh, the evaluation team is a general evaluator tonight, I one and only vice president of public relations, our energetic, passionate, Jessica, sir, please let's put our hands together for Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, Mr. President. Good evening, Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmaster, and uh, dear guest. I'm the general evaluator for today's meeting, and my role is to introduce the evaluators and then give um, a general evaluation of the meeting at the end. Evaluating is a very important part of a Toastmaster Club program because giving and um, receiving feedbacks, we by doing this, we improve our speaking and leadership skills. A good evaluation will be helpful, encouraging, 
and motivating. So I cannot do all this alone. I have a fantastic evaluation team. So my first member is uh, my grammarian, Mr. Israel. Israel, do you want to introduce your role? Uh, yes, I will try to introduce my role. My uh, role as a grammarian is uh, to pay attention to appropriate use of uh, grammar um, uh, and explicit use of words. Um, and um, yeah, and uh, the word of the day is respect. Um, and what it means uh, is uh, regard, due regard, giving due regard to others. And that can only happen when uh, uh, we have uh, sober judgment of ourselves, in my opinion. And uh, I'll try to, uh, to dispose my responsibilities with regard to uh, uh, the role that I'm given. Thank you. Thank you, um, Mr. Gomerin. Now, um, my second member is our counter. And our our counter today is um, our VP of Education, Jorge Elba. Jorge, do you want to take it over? Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. General Evaluator. As the our counter tonight, I will be taking notes of the use of any words and sounds uh, as are used as crutch or pause fillers by anyone who speaks during this meeting tonight. Words that may be inappropriate interjections such as uh, and, well, but, so, you know, or any sounds that may be like ah, uh, uh, mm, or, or any repetitive words that doesn't take a proper place in the presentation. So I'll be taking a count of everybody else and I will be giving my report at the end of the meeting. Thank you very much, Mrs. Uh, General Aaron Ritter. Thank you. Uh, now uh, comes to our third uh, evaluation team member, very important one also, um, timer. And uh, the timer of the day is our ex-president, -pre Mr. Upai Kalu. Upai, do you want to take it over? Thank you, Madam General Evaluator, and uh, good evening, uh, fellow Toastmasters. Tonight, my role will be that of a timer, and we have uh, three prepared speeches. And uh, for the first two speeches, Soma Tosin will be five minutes to seven minutes. Avi, just to be sure, you are speaking for 12 minutes, right? Five? Five to seven. Five to seven. Five to seven minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, maybe in the agenda is uh, wrongly, uh, it's been put. Oh. Okay, so the three speeches will be five to seven minutes. And what that means is uh, five minutes, you are qualified, you will see the green. And uh, once you get to six minutes, I will show you the yellow. Once it's seven, you will have the red. And that means you have 30 seconds to still qualify. And for those that will be taking the table topic, one minute will be green, one minute, 30 seconds, you will see the yellow, and the two minutes, you will see the red, and you have 30 seconds to still qualify. For the evaluators, that will be also for uh, two to three minutes, and that will be one minute, 30 seconds, and then uh, two minutes, three minutes, and then three minutes, 30 seconds, you have to round up. Other than that, I will take note of the time, and then at the end of the meeting, I'll come back with the report. Back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you, Mr. Timer. Now it comes to last but not least evaluation team member, the ballot counter. And tonight our ballot counter is uh, Mr. Akin Oni, also our president and the Toastmaster of the day. So Mr. 
Kim, do you want to uh, talk about your role? Yes, thank you, Madam General Evaluator. As the ballot candidate, I will be using the electronic polls. Once uh, we are ready, I'm going to enter the names of the contestants into an electronic poll. I will push it out to you all electronically, of course, so that you could vote. And that's really my role, basically. And I, we just need to make sure that everyone uh, does their best to qualify so that it may be voted for. Back to you, Madam General Evaluator. I have one thing to add here. For my speech, I will be using a PowerPoint presentation also. Thank okay. you. Thank you. I got your note. All right. So uh, that concludes our team. And uh, like I said early, at the end of the, the, the meeting, I will give us evaluation report for the entire meeting. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. Our first speaker tonight is no one else other than Soma. Soma is one of the most passionate Toastmasters I've ever been in the same club with in my entire life. And I'm super excited for her with how, I mean, uh, impressively fast she has grown herself. So with that said, so my speech tonight is titled uh, Introduction to Mandala Art and How She Practices the Art Form. So Ma has been practicing Mandala Art for the last five years. This is one of her hobbies. She tries to practice Mandala Art to be more mindful and become more aware of her surroundings. Today, she will share how she was introduced to the art and what tools and design methods she follows to create her own Mandala Art. Please put your hands together to give a Texas size welcome to Soma as she delivers her speech. Soma, the floor is yours. Put yourself off mute and uh, share your screen, please. Thank you, Toastmaster. And thank you all, all my other Toastmasters, fellow Toastmasters for giving me this opportunity to speak in front of you all uh, on my hobby. Uh, can you all see uh, my other screen, my PowerPoint presentation? So thank you again. So today, I will start my speech with a story of a new GIS professional who has two kids and was struggling to maintain the work-life balance. And the story is about me. Back then, I found myself having a hard time quieting down. My mind just couldn't slow down. I, the harder I tried, the louder my mind chatters. So one day, while I was sitting at a Starbucks coffee shop, I came across an adult mandala coloring book, bunch of colored shadows. I suddenly found myself excited to find a perfect mandala from that book, Color. An hour and a half later, I suddenly realized that I had just spent about 90 minutes coloring my first mandala art. That day, I not only discovered a new passion, but I also found a new way to practice mindfulness. Later, I started to practice mandala art by my own pace. To me, drawing or coloring mandala art is a process of communicating with myself. I feel self-contained and focused while I practice mandala art. So these are some of the examples that you can see. These are the mandala arts that I have been made as a hobby. Let's go to the next slide where I can tell you the word mandala comes from Sanskrit. It's an ancient Indian language. It literally means circle. However, it can be mean anything that is round or circular. And they generally have one identifiable center point from which an array of symbols or shapes goes outwards. Now, I will tell you how to do 
how to start your Mandela art. So there are some basic supplies that you need to start your own Mandela drawing. And those equipments, get one compass you need, and then protector, drawing book, pencil, color pencil, like black pencil, color pencil, and, and colorful pen. But here I would like to mention one thing. I'm not sponsoring any company here, but personally I like to use Satura pen, but Micron, Pete, or Sharpies are all good options. Now, speaking about Mandela art, Mandela art is closely related to geometry. So we need to know the geometry first. So to now to start your, your own Mandela, we need to use uh, geometry and we can start with a center point and use the compass to draw a, uh, to draw a circle with a certain radius. Now using a protector, after, after drawing the circle, now using the protector, we need to divide the whole circle into several parts. For example, uh, as, 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 I uh, as I draw here, like if you divide the 360 degree into 12 equal parts, then each part will become 30 degree. So now we need to draw the 30 degree points on the periphery of the circle. And then I, we need to join the center point of the circle and the 30 degree point on the periphery. In this way, we can draw the grid for our mandala. And here, I would like to provide you all a tip that if you can make, as these are guidelines, so please draw it, in, uh, draw it in a softer version or in a lighter version, because we need to erase the, all these lines later when our drawing will be finalized. Now let, let's go to the next step. I will show you step by step how you can start your mandala. So, so first step is start with the central dot and then add more dots around it. Second step, start with a simple circle and add layers of circle around it. Step three, choose a particular shape or color for each section of the mandala. Step four, start with simple design. Maybe I just added some petals on it. Step five, add more design elements and use your own imagination. And sorry, and, and at the end, just erase the guidelines. So far, there are some design guidelines and method we should be using while we, we can use while we'll be drawing our own mandala. Number one is repetition is a key when we are drawing mandalas. Looking at the shapes that connects the bottom of one grid point to the top of the next grid line and then back down to the next grid point. So repeating the design around the entire circle will make the mandala elaborate and big. I prefer to draw my mandala with pencil first and then trace over it with black paint. And regarding design method, simply start in the center and work around until you will fill the mandala with different layers and of shapes, alternate the placement of design pattern in each row and when, when you compare with the previous one and then change the shape as you go. So this is the procedure that I have taken while I was practicing Mandela and I'm still practicing it for last five years. And I can tell you that you all also try to do, you try to create your own Mandela. Um, you, can, you can create a new hobby and you can find a new way to enjoy the mindfulness. Thank you for listening to me. Back to you, Madam. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Timer, can we please uh, put uh, one minute on the clock and uh, let everyone who listened to Summer send some love notes to Summer just in one minute. And for that one minute, Mr. Evaluator, if you can prepare your report, because we still have about four minutes before seven o'clock. So you can provide Summer immediate feedback before she leaves. Is that okay?
Fantastic. Thank you so very much. That's the little uh, deviation on an agenda, just to make sure that we support one another. Sorry, uh, Speaker number two and the rest of the audience. Uh, one you. minute, Thank please. One minute is up. Thank you very much. Normally we should go to the next speaker, but I take permission from everyone to allow Ohe Alba, who is gonna be representing our club next Saturday, not this one, but next Saturday as uh, the, at the evaluation speech contest. So he has the opportunity to practice twice tonight. Dr. Alba, our VP of education, over to you to provide uh, some more immediate feedback. And uh, Mr. Timer, if you could just uh, put uh, two to three minutes on the clock, that would be terrific. Over to you, Dr. Alga. Thank you very much, Mr. Toastmasters. Dear fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, this is just the classic presentation for a Toastmaster person. Soma just presented to us a great presentation following all the trends of a Toastmasters. I will start my, my speech evaluation following the three methods that we use, looking to connection, delivery, and content. So I'm going to start first with content. Soma presented a very interesting topic that is very clear that she knows well, and she has a very good comfort level to present the topic. She excelled at knowing the content and knowing how to present this topic. Not only that, but her presentation was impeccable. Their graphics were very good, excellent colors, excellent combination of letters and colors. And she used just the proper amount of wording in each one of the slides, not to oversaturate the slides, but to provide the enough information that we needed to follow up. Excellent, excellent content that Soma provide to us tonight. Talking about the delivery, I think her speech was posted and very clear. She delivered at the right speed, not too fast, not too slow. She used the proper wording during the delivery of the speech. And also she was using the proper eye contact with the camera and therefore with everybody participating here tonight and bring enough audience awareness to the topic. So she had a very impeccable delivery. And finally, the third one, connection. From the beginning, Soma was able to connect with the people. However, fellow guests and Toastmasters, one of the things that I look when I'm seeing is there is connection between the speaker and the people in the meeting, or in this case, I need to look at each one of us. And I really appreciate if we turn off our cameras and there is a speaker there. So I see if you are paying attention to the speaker, if your eyes reflect interest in the topic, if your eyes reflect and your gesture reflect that you are understanding the speaker. It's very important that we all collaborate by keeping our cameras open during the time that there is a speech being presented. But for the few of us that were connected with Soma, I saw connection. I saw that Soma was able to deliver a speech with the right delivery amount, amount of information, with the right content and the right knowledge, and with the awareness of all of us that were participating, listening to her actively, not only with our ears, but also with our eyes. So this is a perfect speech. I will say for Chuck, for Soma, I want to give her an action call and a little bit of a challenge. Even though your gestures were very good, I can see that you were using your hands very well. I will ask you to step away from the camera, maybe two or three feet, so we can see more of your body and that will have a more bigger impact on your audience. Thank you very much, Mr. Stormmaster. Soma, I think you are ready to excel in two weeks from today. Thank you, and keep trying hard because you are doing very well. Thank you. Wow, what a, what a feedback. 
Thank you so much for that uh, inspiring evaluation, Dr. Alba. Now, moving on, we are gonna uh, now go on to the next speaker. The next speaker is Toastmaster Tosin Aisha. Uh, he is actually a brother of mine. So people may be wondering why I was able to pronounce his name with the right intonation. Uh, Tosin Aisha's uh, title tonight is Building Resilience. In today's world, building resilience is a key factor in achieving success. I like that. Resilience helps us to face life's challenges and difficult times with courage, strength, and determination. And with that said, and uh, for the first time, let's put our hands together for Tosi Esau as he delivers his speech tonight. The floor is yours. All right, thank you, fellow Toastmasters. I will just go ahead and share my screen. Hey, uh, I just want to confirm, can everyone see my screen, please? Yes. All right, thank you so much. Today, I will be talking on the topic, building resilience. Before I go into the topic, building resilience, I would like to, first of all, give a, a context of why I think it's important for us to build resilience. In today's world, it is, known that we tend to face different challenges. We tend to face different crises. Sometimes we lose jobs. Sometimes uh, we are in difficult situations that makes us in one way or the other to feel the stress, uh, to feel some kind of uh, pressure in some way or the other. And the reality about it is that sometimes we tend to manage these crises, these difficult times in very good manner. Other times it can be very, very demanding. Now, the question is that there are some people that have consistently been able to build competencies, capabilities to be able to manage stress, difficult times, difficult situations, and they've just been able to bounce back. So the question is, could it be resilience? Could it be that they have better capa capacities? Could it be that they have better competencies? Perhaps it's, perhaps it's resilience. And that takes me to the question, what is resilience? Resilience is the ability to sustain energy through highly demanding tasks and to bounce back from adverse situations. In today's world, it is paramount that we we'll always face crisis, that we we'll always face situations. Sometimes the economy might not be too friendly on us. You have rising inflation, skyrocketing in, uh, interest rates. But the reality is that it is important for us to build resilience, to be able to manage the stress and of course, manage the different situations. I would like to, you know, talk about a story of myself. I, I come from a place uh, in Africa. And I remember in 2020, when I decided to relocate to the United States, I had moved to the United States in, in, the, in, the, in the period of the COVID-19, and I tried to get a job. Uh, but because there was a kind of culture shock coming into the environment, it was a little bit difficult trying to settle in, trying to get a job, and of course, trying to move on with my life. But what did I do? Essentially, I, was, I built resilience. I increased my capacity. I was able to ensure that I did a number of things that would help me to grow as a person, even while looking for the job. 
And eventually it paid off. Uh, some of the things I did whilst waiting for, for the job was that I took my PMP exam and I also partook in a coaching session that helped me to build the capacities and the competencies that helped me to eventually get, get the job. Now, what is resilience threshold? This slide talks about building resilience. So someone called psychologist Charles Spellberger describes the two ways in which people tend to respond to external stressful situations. There is something that is called state anxiety, which is pretty much how you behave or how you respond to stress at that particular time. Then there is another level which is called trade anxiety. And essentially that means how do you behave to anxiety from a general perspective? I'm here to tell you that in order for us as professionals in our personal lives to be able to move from the state anxiety to the traits anxiety, it is important to build resilience. This takes me to how, how do we eventually even evaluate our current state of resilience? Essentially, to my left part, it gives you a picture of how you as a professional, either in your personal life, to be able to develop the coping skills, uh, the capacities to be able to improve yourself, and of course, be a better person as a professional person. There are a number of ways in which we can raise our resilience. You can enhance your creativity. We can learn something new. We can face uncomfortable situations. And of course, we can manage our energy. Resilience is about bouncing back. It's about diving back into a tough situation and trying again. Now, briefly, I'd like to just tell you about this example here. Bill Gates, at some point uh, in his earlier career, he used to build, he was, you know, he was a programmer and he used to build codes. And he went to IBM and told IBM that I can actually make this doors into simplified icon search that once you click on it, it makes life easier for you. And of course he went to the IBM board, he presented to the IBM board and the IBM board said, oh no, we don't want this, this is impossible. But of course, as you and I would know today, Bill Gates, who is about one of the richest person in the whole world, was able to build the resilience, build the capacity and the competencies to be able to create what we now know as Microsoft. And eventually we can see that Microsoft is one of the best companies in the world. And of course, IBM is still struggling as we speak today. What am I saying today? It is important for us as professionals and as personal people to be able to build resilience in our day-to-day -day lives. Once we build resilience, it is paramount, is it expected that would achieve success in all the things we do. Thank you. That was impressive. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster Tosin Asha. Yes, Mr. Timer, can we put one minute on the clock? so that uh, we can send some love notes to Tosin based on his speech. Provide him uh, uh, positive feedback, give him an idea of the opportunity areas. And, uh, and then when the time, one minute is up, just let me know. Thank you, sir. Okay, one minute starts now. A minute is up. Thank you, Mr. Timer. 
Right, our next speaker, speaker number three, needs no introduction. A former president of this club, I think about two years ago, he was at the Division L, L as in Lima, L director last year within District 56. He is a very good friend of mine. Uh, um, again, I don't apologize for that, uh, but that is the truth. Uh, Abi is someone that I have a lot of respect for, for a number of reasons, which I can't even say here. Abi, a distinguished Toastmaster, will be presenting on the title Resistance. Here's the intro. We are thriving to succeed. Being successful is a good trait, but it is not always a piece of cake. I can relate to that. The major downside of delivering successful outcome is a resistance. Here is the disclaimer though, this is a sensitive topic. So please beware. With that said, let's put our hands together as Ivy takes on the state to deliver his speech. Ivy, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Postmaster. Let me share my screen. Meanwhile, if anybody is wondering what's going on with my voice, just a quick heads up. I was practicing for American Idol this year and it did not go well. That was a joke. I got caught in a cold. All right, time to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for spending your Wednesday evening with us. My topic tonight is a little different. Generally, I try to do humorous kind of speeches, but tonight I want to try something different. All right, let's start with, can anybody here guess who are these three people? Anyone? Shakira. And Shakira. I, I know his face, I just can't think of his name. Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio. That is correct. And this gentleman with the hat on. Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Wonderful. Wow, everybody is keeping up with media here. Very good. Thank you. Well, now that you know who they are, can you tell me what is common between them? Any of yeah, of course, they are celebrity, but on top of it, they are perfectionist. They are real perfectionist in their own field. Every role, every music that they compose, they are perfectionist. So what does exactly perfectionist mean? If you look up the definition of perfectionist, it is perfectionism is a state of mind in which a person strives to be excellent in any field. I'm pretty sure many of you here in the audience, you know someone who is a perfectionist and they thrive to be successful no matter what they do. Well, perfectionism has a lot of ups and they are, they hold higher personal standard no matter what. They are more streamlined on the work process. They are more polished on their end results. They have better attention to detail. They, whatever they work on, that requires very less or at least no fixes or rework in what they do. Of course, perfectionism takes longer development cycle, but that can be a cost to providing a better or best solution that one can have. And yes, it is, of course, a lot of extra work, right? Well, sometimes it's not necessary. 
you see that, okay, we all start to become perfectionists with good intent. It stretches in the end to some extent, but that is all right. It is part of it. But what are the downs of being a perfectionist, right? You have to have a high standard and expectation every single time, feeling pressure to live up to high expectation every single time, exaggerated fear of failure, difficulty overlooking small mistakes, viewing any mistakes as failure or incompetence, intense fear of being rejected or judged because of mistakes, spending excessive time, effort, or energy to improve or reduce mistakes, excessive ruminating or self-criticism, hypersensitivity to criticism and negative feedback, and self-worth, self-esteem that is contingent upon success. Stressed out with that long list? Well, you might be shocked to know there are many people living today with these kind of symptoms. And ladies and gentlemen, my friends here in Toastmaster, this had been defined as obsessive compulsive personality disorder. Yes, it is a mental health condition today. If you look up, you can find the definition as per Cleveland Clinic. It says obsessive compulsive personality disorder involves an extensive preoccupation with perfectionism. I put a link here. If you want, just click on it and you'll get to the case study there. Here are the stats. 21% of the population of US which is 59 million people are having mental health issue. 18% of them go through perfectionism issue, which is that mental health condition. Well, somebody might be asking, okay, how do you manage it? It's not that hard. It is absolutely simple, but then you have to work on it. You have to become more aware of your tendencies why you are doing what you are doing. Focus only on the positives. Not everything needs to get done. Allow yourself to make mistakes. Very important. Set more reasonable goals. You don't have to achieve the sky, the moon, and the star every single time. Learn how to receive criticism. Lower the pressure on yourself. This is the major killer. You don't have to be in that situation and focus on the meaning over being perfect or perfection. Again, these are well defined in the Harvard study. I have put the link here. Anybody wants, please go click that. You will get the detailed report there. And finally, do not try to procrastinate. So coming back to my previous question, what is common between them? All of these guys have suffered severe mental, mental illness just because of perfectionism. If any one of you or your friend is going through it, please ask them to reach out for help. It is available. Thank you and back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you so much, distinguished Toastmaster Avi. Wow, what a speech. I'm glad that I'm not an evaluator tonight. That's good. And I won't, I won't have the right to vote because uh, I am the host, but that's good too. Now with that said, let's, uh, Mr. let's ask Mr. Timer to put one minute on the clock for us to be able to provide Avi our love notes. What we like, what we will have loved to see, and then uh, any opportunity that we see, if it's to de deliver that speech again somewhere else. One minute, please.
One minute to stop. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Timer. Okay, the next question that I have here for you, Mr. Timer, is uh, did uh, all speakers qualify? Yes, they are qualified. The oh. last speaker uh, escaped it by only three seconds. Uh, who exceeded by three seconds? No, no, no. I said he was in the book of qualified because of three minutes, uh, three seconds. Okay. Seven minutes, 27 seconds. So it was just three seconds and then it would have ah, been. Okay. Okay. That's good. Awesome. Okay. Now I am going to. Um... Uh, try and push the polls out. Let me quickly set this up. Uh, sorry, I did not uh, uh, set it up before. I wanted to know who qualified and who don't. And uh, the first speaker is Summer. The second speaker is Tosin. And the third speaker is Avi. All right, safe and launch. All right, let's 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 get the vote going. Only Avi and myself will not be able to vote. I believe Avi is a co-host. All right, six people voted. All right, so we have a winner, obviously. Uh, one over six, four over six, and then one over six. All right, thank you very much. Uh, uh, the next uh, item on our agenda here is uh, table topics. Yeah, and I'm very excited uh, to announce tonight that for the second meeting in a row back to back, uh, immediate past president, who is also the area director for M30, this Toastmaster year. He is a toast, uh, table topics master tonight. And because we had, we've got Tammy here, we've got Courtney, we've got Monica, each right. So we have a vat, fertile ground for, toast, uh, for table topics tonight. Again, I'm not trying to say you should call on them. I'm just trying to remind you. <laughs> With that said, please, let's put a hand together for Toastmaster Upai Kalu. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster and Mr. President. Tonight, I'm also wearing the hat of the Table Topic Master. I remember one of those times you are walking along the corridor and you have the opportunity of meeting probably your manager or one of the senior officers of your company. The conversation is never 20 minutes, it's never 10 minutes, it's just on the spot. And that's what we are doing here at this moment. And for me to make sure that everyone actually participate in this meeting, if you do not uh, volunteer, I will be looking out for those who have no role in tonight's meeting. So the earlier you volunteer, the easier for both of us. Who is going first? The question is gonna be revolving around our the team of the meeting and the word of the day. So you already have the answer. Who is going first? Okay, I'll kick us off, Upai. Thank you. Great, great. So the question I'm going to ask you will be, we hear the word or the phrase, treat other people the way you want to be treated. What does this really mean to you? Great. Thank you so much, Mr. Table Topics Master. Treat other people the way you want to be treated. 
really that's the golden rule, I believe. Shirley Chisholm actually has a quote and her quote is around service and service is basically the rent we pay to live on earth. And I truly agree with that. It's very simple to treat people with kindness. In fact, most of us know that it doesn't cost a thing to be kind. One of the fundamental pieces of just being a human is interacting and communication with others. So I think a good practice that everyone can adopt, especially going back to Soma's speech about mindfulness, is just taking the time to look inward. How do I interact with others on a daily basis? How do I receive interactions from others? And how do I interpret those interactions? And I think when we go and look inward, we can then start creating that resilience that Tozen was talking about in our day-to-day -day actions and actually treating people with respect in the encounters that we have. So I would encourage everyone today to look inward, think about what you value, how you can show that value to others, and how you are interacting in your day-to-day -day communications, and how you can build up resilience in the world and in your environment. So I encourage you today to treat others the way that you would like to be treated, be respectful above all else, and kindness and service doesn't cost a thing. Thank you so much, Mr. Table Topics Master. Back to you. Thank you so much. I completely agree with you. And I believe uh, one of the things uh, that might be an issue with uh, many of us is uh, we want a standard for ourselves and a different standard for others. But I think the earlier we make it that what is good for us should be good for the other. It might help us to have a better world. Thank you so much. Do I have any next person who would want to take the next question? You don't have a role and uh, you will want to be part of this meeting. Tommy. Thank you so much, uh, Tommy. And the question I have uh, for you will be, If you look at uh, the theme of the meeting, it's talking about making others better. And my question to you will be, can anyone say life is better for him or her today because you made it? Well, well thank you, table, Mr. Table Topic Master. I would say that is a good question. Can anyone say, that I have made their life better or that their life has been better because of me. Well, that would be a, an amazing honor that I would like someone to say about me. I would say that it's a very uh, difficult question, but the, the answer that comes to mind is I think of my, my children. Um, my children, I have done what I can do as a mother to contribute to their education and their well-being. I would hope that one of them <laughs> would say out of the three that I have made their lives better because I have sacrificed over the years to try to instill in them good values, good morals, and also, um, like Courtney mentioned, treating other people how they want to be treated. I would say that uh, my daughter got accepted into uh, Texas A&M. And well, I know that a lot of that was hard work on her, on, her, on her behalf. And I've given support and done my best as a mother. 
So I would say that if anyone, it would be my children that could say that I made their lives better. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Tani. When you wear different uh, heart, it's always uh, difficult uh, trying to uh, kind of adjust to between it. So if you notice that those one minute silent, I'm trying to wear the next uh, heart. Thanks, uh, Tami. I, I believe uh, uh, our children knowing and benefiting from who we are can also be a good way of even showing uh, a good uh, treatment to others outside. If it's not well at home, I believe outside will not be better. So if your children can say that, kudos, I'm happy for you. The next question, I don't know who will be willing to take that. Who is willing to take uh, the next question? Monica, would you like to be part of our meeting by uh, yes. taking the next question? Yes, yes, sir. I would love to. Thank you so much. And the question uh, I would like to uh, hand to you will be, uh, the club president, uh, who is also the Toastmaster tonight, I don't know, I didn't discuss it with him, but he said uh, so much about this, uh, is the mm -hmm. fact that sometimes we feel we are the one that is right. And maybe sometimes we are actually wrong. So my question to you will be, can you recall any situation you felt you were disrespectful to someone? or somebody was to you, how did you handle it? Okay, um, thank you, Toastmasters. Um, it's a very interesting question and it's hard to recollect, but um, I'm just thinking the situation where I have been disrespected because mostly I'll be work from home and I'll, yeah, I can tell you from a scene from my office, it's, uh, we are having, it, it was on a call and we were having a debate on a particular, particular code that we wrote and which doesn't execute it. It has lots of perks and everything. The code that was written, was by me and by my um, colleague, both of them. But he tried to impose everything on me. So he said that the it, it, the code is two different parts. The half part was written by me, the other half was written by him. And he started, because the code had so many of bugs, which escalated so many of uh, things, he started to throw push things on me saying that I was not doing good. So that time I stood up for myself, talked to my director saying that, hey, everything is written and you can see it's it, it's an open book. You can see everything is written by whom and whom. Yes, there were bugs. Yes, we can fix it, but give us some time so we can we can fix it instead of pulling each other's leg, instead of bugging each other, throwing stones at each other. Let's calm down and let's go ahead see what's happening and then uh yes it took a lot of time for us to sort both together because we have to sit for a longer time to write the code and finally when it's done uh the director came and gave a really good feedback of me because i handled the situation very in a polite way rather than stone, throwing stones at others. I 
took the situation into control i know there were so many bugs and it's accelerated in the production and everything was getting delayed so we yes there was a couple of people who have helped us but instead of i was disrespected that but instead of me going along things i just made sure that everything was done smoothly so that is one of the thing that i have faced and i request everybody not to when if there is a situation where even though you are at fault or not fault don't throw don't tell things to others instead sit politely just discuss what can be done every single problem has a solution so make sure of that and be polite to each other it doesn't cost nothing and there is no problem that doesn't have a solution that's all thank you thank you so much uh, monica thank you and that uh, i believe uh, that would be the last question i should be taking uh, for the interest of our time and also to also to be respectful to our time so we'll uh, take uh, that as the last uh, question for table topic so i would like to hand it over back to the toastmaster thank you so much uh, immediate past president toastmaster upai kalu for uh, those great questions and thanks for all the responders or our respondents, rather. Uh, we're now moving into, okay, table topics for timing, qualification, and voting. Uh, do all the uh, table topic respondents, did, did they qualify? Um, I think uh, maybe only one person didn't qualify. Yeah, it just said uh, uh, 10, sec 10 seconds away from uh, qualification. Okay, let's, uh, maybe we should just give it to her. Okay. All right. The first uh, responder is Courtney. Second responder, Tammy. I actually had Tammy here already, uh, just as last time. And then the third is Monica. <laughs> I believe this is Monica Taviteki. All right. Yes. So, okay, very good. Thanks, Monica. Just want to make sure I got the right Monica. And uh, save. And uh, launch. Okay, let's vote for the best table topics respondent. <clears throat> Okay. Awesome. And Paul, we have a winner. All right. Again, just like Mr. Immediate Past President, I'm kind of uh, triple rolling uh, tonight. Now we're going to move into the evaluation phase because uh, to those of us who understand the Toastmaster, the way our meetings work is part. Prepare speeches, impromptu speeches, and evaluation. We've done the P, we've done the I, now we're moving into the E. And to lead us through the E is no one else other than our current Vice President of Public Relations, Toastmaster Jessica Sun. Jessica, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster, Mr. President. Okay, fellow Toastmaster and the dear guest, so now it comes to our evaluation part. And uh, uh, the first part will be the speech evaluation for the prepared speech. And because uh, Jorge already gave the first evaluation to Soma, now we are going to have the second speaker uh, evaluation and the evaluator will be me. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, Tosin. What a wonderful speech. 
first of all, you did great with the introduction and uh, you get it prepared uh, in the hands of Toastmaster. So he get us prepared what you are going to talk about. And now I'm going to give the evaluation based on the traditional three parts, connection, delivery, and content. So about the content, that's very good. Um, your title is Building Resilience and not a very popular uh, topic, but it's very interesting and they make people think. And um, on the way you present it, you talk about the definition, you show what is religion, religions, and, and also you give your own personal example to show them how you treat all the stress and then how you use your religions to all the stress and difficulties. And that really put everything together. And then, and the last, you also talk about IBM and uh, Gates story between IBM and Microsoft. That's really, really good content. And secondly is the connection. I think you did such a good job with connection. Um, first of all, I want, I can't stop admire your presentation. What a beautiful, beautiful pictures you put all those together. And we always say one picture equal to a thousand words. Like you don't even need to open your mouth. We start to enjoy all those pictures and those really help us to get through the understanding of each part of your presentation. That's great, great connection. And you keep eye contact. You um, also talk, uh, talk about your st own story um, during uh, COVID time when you trans trans um, relocate from your country to America, the difficulty to finding jobs and all those stuff. I think most of us has been through those difficulties and that really bring us together as great connection. And last but not least is delivery. I like your speed control. Um, you don't speak fast, you really, really in control manner. And then you make sure everybody understand and you have good hand gesture. Um, all those put this, a great speech together. And the last you did call for actions. And um, uh, the only one challenge I'm going to give you is since you start the program already, and why don't you start a pathway program and pick a pass and all your speech, you can get credit for it. And you could finish your level one, level two in no time with the, the quality product you put together. And that's all from me. Thank you. All right. I will put my head back as the general evaluator. Uh, our third speech uh, evaluator is also Mr. Hohei Albai, Dr. Hohei. Floor is yours. You are muted. All right. So, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Zinella. There. Again, we got another another sample of what a good speaker is tonight. Definitely, Abby is an incredible speaker. Um, it doesn't matter what topic he talks about, what he brings to the table. He always makes an impact on the audience. I, I will say. Any of any of you here that didn't connect with Abby tonight, just raise your hand because I was seeing everybody there. Everybody was paying attention to him. Everybody was focusing to what he was saying, the way he brought the attention of the people into the into his presentation with the right up, appropriate amount of questions was perfect, Abby. So really, thank you for the for the speech. Very clear, clarity was perfect. Local variety. I love the way you use local variety to bring the attention of a stress and what a stress was, was that. You started slow and then you started increasing the level of stress that you were going through. That was amazing. I mean, I feel a stress listening to you. 
no other way to bring perfect sample of the stress. Definitely just gestures were totally appropriate. Your confidence level is incredible. And when you speak, there is no other thing around. You feel totally connected with the people, the people feel totally connected with you. And we just get the sense that you completely dominate the topic. So I would say between your, your delivery, your connection with the public and the content that you choose and the appropriate way to deliver that content, I don't really have anything to say, Abby. I mean, I don't have anything to bring like action item for next time or a challenge for you. All I will say this, this, this challenge is for everybody else here to learn what a perfect Toastmaster speech is. Listen again, when we get the recording on, on, on YouTube of this presentation, listen again to Abby and learn from that because that was perfect, Abby. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. Thank you, our uh, speech evaluators. Now, let me uh, call my uh, evaluation team for their report. The first uh, evaluation- a point, a point of order, per the agenda, Madam VP Pia, we need to do timer qualifications, verifications and voting, if that's right, okay. Right. Yeah, 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 sorry. Okay. Yeah. So Mr. Tamar, we already, uh, Evaluators qualified? Yes, they are qualified. Okay, thank you very much. Before I hand it back over to Madam GE, uh, I've got three slots here. Ohe, number one. That was the first time Ohe evaluated. Then I've got Jessica and I have Ohe number two, in case people are wondering. So feel free to vote for either Ohe one, Jessica or Ohe two. I will push it. I will launch the poll now so you all can vote. Go for it. And just in the interest of people joining us for the first time, we did that like that tonight because OA is going to be participating in the area contest as uh, the evaluator representing our club. So we wanted to give him more practice opportunities tonight. All right, uh, I think we are good to go here. All right, back to you, Madam GE. Thank you, uh, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you to put our meeting back in order. <laughs> All right, so I will call my first uh, evaluator, Grammarian, for the report. And our Grammarian is Mr. Israel. Ms. Israel, the floor is yours. Thank you, uh, fellow Toastmasters. Um, my evaluation um, towards the presentation of Soma, uh, she has used words that explain uh, and complement each other, um, like light followed by soft, uh, ATC. She uh, faltered on few grammars that missed um, plurals. Uh, example, she said, um, they're all good option as opposed to good options. Um, I've also noticed few uh, grammatical errors where she said, as I draw here, as opposed to, as I have it drawn here, um, there are a few things that I have noticed, but in general, she has used good expressions and uh, her use of uh, words was excellent. Do you want me to continue? Mm -hmm. yes, okay. Yes. Um, my evaluation of Tassin um, is uh, similar. He has... Um, um, good vocabulary, uh, the grammar is extremely good. Um, it flows, uh, the flow is really great. Uh, I have noticed few repetition of words, 
uh, or misplacements of words. Uh, one example is he said person as a professional person. Uh, so the additional person was not necessary in this case. Um, he has also used resilience and com competency uh, repeatedly together, but he, he did not show us how those two words are related with each other. Um, but again, uh, in general, his um, presentation was uh, uh, grammatical accuracy was, I think it was very good. The third person, um, Abby, um, has used uh, some very good expressions that shows uh, allegory in a way that captured our attention. Um, he made few mistakes again with plurals. Um, uh, he probably misplaced a word or two that I have noticed. Uh, example, he said, they are celebrity as opposed to saying celebrities. Um, however, I have, uh, like I said, um, he has conveyed his uh, message eloquently. Thank you. Thank you. Very detailed report. Now let's go on to our art counter. And today our art counter is also um, Jorge Alba. Uh, Mr. Alba, the floor is yours. I guess you guys make it very difficult on me tonight. I said it was going to be an easy task to just count us, but I was put, putting a lot of attention and you have very few that I count. So I'm going to start with Akim. I only was able to find one A. Israel, you got a little bit more, you got about five total between us and arms. Jessica, I only found one arm, Upai, one A. Soma is not here right now, but uh, she only have one A. So seeing you have two R's uh, and one uh, inappropriate interjection that was, you know, and I think you use more than once in the same sentence the words, perhaps. Um, Abby and Courtney couldn't find anything on you. I tried very hard, but couldn't find anything. So, and uh, Tammy, I found two arms for you. That's all I have as uh, my R counter report. Uh, this is General Romero. Thank you. All right, let's move on to our Mr. Timer. Okay, hello. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. My timer's report for the prepared speeches, summer, seven minutes, one second. Tosin, seven minutes on the dot. Avi, seven minutes, 27 seconds. And for table topic, we have uh, Courtney, one minute, 52 seconds. Tani, one minute, 45 seconds. Monica, uh, one, two minutes and 40 seconds. Jessica for evaluation, three minutes, 20 seconds for Jorge on uh, the first uh, evaluation, three minutes, 10 seconds. And for Avi, two minutes, 10 seconds. And that concludes my timer's report. Back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you. Thank you, um, Mr. Timer. All right, because of the time, I will give a very quick report. Um, so today, um, we have a very great theme, and um, I believe um, the table topic is very uh, connected with the uh, the theme and uh, hands in hand. So thank you for uh, Toastmaster to choosing the topic and uh, table topic master to uh, pick all these difficult questions to uh, make sure we all understand what is make other better and also um, be able to respect to each other. 
And our meetings start on time. All the um, um, roles were filled before the meeting and uh, the guest was greeted very nicely. Um, I heard before the meeting, we have a great conversation between Abby and the, uh, the newcomers, the guests, our dear guests, to understand what our club doing and then all the stuff. So that's really, really good. And for the speakers, uh, I want to concentrate on the ones that is going to uh, the contest next week. So the first one is about SOMA uh, because Soma um, actually is the second time for her to deliver this speech. And I can see a dramatic um, improvement from his, her first speech and her slide, her, um, the more content and the story and her confidence is much, much better than the first time. And for the evaluator, I would say, uh, oh, hey, you, great, you did great, great job with your evaluation for both uh, cases. So um, one thing I want to point out is um, it's a little bit hard to hear you. I think maybe you are a little bit away from the computer or something. So I would suggest you get a um, headset that will make you easy to hear during the, during the contest. All right, and I like to use your hand, uh, hand gesture and all those stuff. That's really, really good. And I love your uh, speech, uh, how to say, the encouragement, the positive phrases and all those stuff. So really good job. Um, that's all I'm going to report for tonight. Thank you. And back to you, Mr. Toastmaster. Yeah, go ahead. This is I, I just find I have a technical mistake here. I was connected to the wrong microphone. I don't know if you can hear me better now. Yes, much yes. better. Yeah. It, it was a mistake on me anyway, because I didn't uh, okay. have the microphone, so I need to pay attention to detail. Mm -hmm. Just like I always said, you have to be perfectionist. Yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you very much, Madam General Evaluator, and thanks already too for reacting that quickly to check your system. Because I was going to advise you the same, this exact same thing. So, but thank you so much for fixing that and uh, getting ready for the contest next week. Again, let's put our hands together for Madam General Evaluator for a great job that she did. Real quick, I know it's 7.59 now. If you wouldn't mind, just stick around with me for probably about three more minutes, we should be done here. Next thing that I've gotten in, gotten in here is uh, the ballot and that to announce the winner. Let's start with the table topics. Can we have a drum roll, please? And uh, the winner is Courtney Atten. Courtney, congratulations for winning the Table Topics Contest tonight. And the next is uh, the evaluation. Another drum roll, please. And the winner is Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank you. And the last but not the least is this, uh, the prepared uh, speeches. Now this has to be a louder drum roll. And the winner is Tosin. Congratulations, Yay. Tosin. Congratulations. So uh, it looks like uh, people really enjoyed every speech tonight. And congratulations to all the speakers. We really appreciate you. With that said, I'm gonna turn it quickly over back to uh, Madam VP Pierre in about 60 seconds for her to tell us at Toastmasters why. Madam VP Pierre, Toastmaster Jessica Sun, over to you. Let's give her another round of applause. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Actually, I prepared a three minute speech. So I... <laughs> 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 All right, <laughs> because I counted two minutes. Okay, all right. So um, I will make it quick. So how long it took you to find the right Toastmaster Club and decided to join. One month, two months, one year. For me, it took me 15 years. Yeah, in 2000, the first time I heard about Toastmaster is in 2003. And I attended a couple of meetings, but I was not confident enough to speak in public. So I quit. I didn't join actually. And then in 2014, I found our club. And the first time I came to the meeting is actually our charter meeting of this club. 
That's back in 2014. I came several times after and I met Upu Upai, Anthony, and a few others. But I still, the doubt that if I can deliver a speech is still haunted me. So I didn't join until three years later, I decided to join and I became a loyal member since. And over the past five and a half years, um, I finished my first pathway program is a strategic relationship. And then I'm working on my second path, the leadership development. Even though I'm a little bit slow on my progress, um, but I learned a lot from this club. First of all, confidence. Secondly, speaking skills. And the last but not least, the leadership skills. And I want to focus on my confidence. When I first joined the club, like I said, I have a fear. I don't think I can deliver a speech. But at that time, I was trying to find a professional job. And my confidence was really low. It's like basement level. However, I met Anthony Ally, and he taught me how to build confidence with his agape model. And in less than three months, I was landed with my professional job, my current job. When I was told my boss why he had to hire me, my confidence convinced him. So from here, you can understand how I gained from this club. Confidence, big scheme, speaking skills, and leadership skills. I'm sure for all of you, especially if you're new, you want to improve your speaking and, um, and the leadership skills. Make a decision, sign up for a club. Don't like me, wait for 15 years. And if you are existing member, attend as many as meeting as you can and sign up for speaking roles in each meeting. And in no time, you will Im make improvement on those parts. Thank you, back to you. Wow, that's, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Jessica. I didn't know about the 15 years. And thank you for also teaching me the, the my, my confidence was uh, at the basement level. That's negative. Now I will remember that I'm going to use that someday. That's it. Thank you. I learned something tonight. I mean, that's that's one of the things that I like for me to post my staff meeting, particularly this club. You, there's something that you're going to pick up if you're listening attentively all through the meeting. So thank you so very much. And Jessica, by the way, uh, you are a licensed uh, professional engineer in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's a licensed professional engineer. She's a project manager and she has done amazingly well. I mean, oh, since, uh, since about uh, five or six years that I first met her. And interestingly, we live in the same community. She, we you just find out uh, in the course of our conversation. So yeah. thank you so much, Jessica, for being a backbone of this club. We really thank love you. and appreciate you. Thank the you. last but not the least of my, now as the Toastmasters, we, I'm done now. I'm just handing over to myself as the club president. Uh, we want to thank our sponsors, the PMI Houston, for continuing to be our sponsor in this club. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to announce the shout out moment winner for this meeting tonight. And my choice of uh, the winner of the shout out moment for this meeting tonight is no one else other than distinguished Toastmaster Avi. Avi, had a thousand and one reasons not to be at this meeting tonight. He, he signed up very early to speak and he stuck with it. He didn't change his mind. I even spoke to him like twice today at different times and I had his voice. He said, he's gonna make it, he's gonna, he's gonna be all right. I said, okay, that's good. that's good. And I like, I like that kind of uh, resilience. I like that kind of uh, perseverance. Because you realize that in life, to be successful, as he taught us earlier, you need to persist. You need to persevere. You need to, to have the right uh, resistance. You know, different things in this life are going to try to pull you down. 
but you've got to stay strong. So thank you so much, Abdi, for coming tonight, for everything that you did here. Congratulations for being a shout out moment winner tonight. Now, in closing, I know it's eight or six now. I was going to talk about a, a few things, but I'm going to save it right now. But important, uh, next Saturday, the 4th of March, uh, uh, Ohe and uh, Soma will be representing us. Please, if you have not signed up to attend, it's Saturday in the morning. I am actually just sending the Zoom link to our district uh, leaders. I actually, I sent it last night, but I'm going to check whether they've posted it. Please sign up and let's join that meeting from the comfort of our homes or our cars or our offices and just uh, cheer up uh, Ohe and Soma as they represent us next Saturday. We have a few uh, new members that have been processed right now. We need more members for us to stay distinguished this year. We are already at seven out of 10. We have the potential to get nine out of 10 so that we may retain our president distinguished. We just need four more members. And I know we've got three already. Uh, Tammy, uh, Israel, and uh, there's GA. I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. So we've got three now. And I know Avi, despite his uh, being completely, uh, not, not completely where he's still striving to make sure we get more members. So we're gonna hit the mark. So we have three now. With that three, we probably need two more for us to say we are stable, providing, of course, that all the current members, they renew. It's very important. Thank you all so very much. That is my story tonight. Yes, any, yes, Madam VPPR. Um, open house this Friday. Do you want oh, to yeah. talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we have our open house this Friday at six o'clock. Please, please yeah. and please. We would really appreciate to have you all there. It doesn't matter whether you are guests or members, please, everybody come inside. Yeah, That's does, what say. does yes, everybody please. get the invitation? Do you know the time, the address and everything? Uh, you mean the address? Is there yeah. anyone who doesn't know the, uh, the location address? It's true, it's right there on Highway 6 on uh, Highway 90. In uh, in Sugarland, right yeah. there, right there under the bridge, that it, the, the bridge on Highway Six that is across from the Kelsey Seaboard Clinic. So okay. it's right side of Highway Six. So okay. I don't know if it's the shoe is nobody. I mean, if you ask, everybody will know what that shoe is. is. Right yeah. next yeah. Mexican food too. Yeah. So no, please. Well, I need more food, but uh, it's great Mexican food. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Avi. Avi already posted it in the chat. Please check the yeah. chat. The address is there. We Thank would you, really Abby. appreciate everyone joining us. It's, it's an informal gathering. Nobody is going to judge you that day. There's no evaluator that day. So don't worry. You can say whatever you like. And, during and that we, are going, we are going to be sitting in the patio. It's a great place to sit in the evening. Uh, it's not going to be cold. It's going to be a great evening to, to enjoy and have some fun and have some, some familiar talk, friendly talk. All right. Come out there uh, with your significant others and uh, let's have some fun. Uh, I think it's going to be good. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Any other announcements? I think. No, um, one. The, go, go ahead. Sorry, one more is uh, our <laughs> VP of Finance become uh, grandma uh, last yes. Friday, Saturday. That's, That's why right. maybe he, she's a little bit slow uh, getting the new members in row um, to get the money because uh, she's so busy with the, her first grandchildren. So yeah, just um, we all very thankful that happens ahead of the time, ahead of schedule, but yeah. the mom and, and the kids are doing really, really well. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Thank yeah. you so much, Jessica. I spoke to her this morning as well. And she told me that the mom and uh, the baby, they are doing fine. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much. Any other announcements? Just one question, Akim. Uh, the contestant, do we also have to register or we are already registered with the form that we sent? What's that? For the for the contest next week. Yes. Do we have to register the contestants or are we already in because we are No, you have to register. Oh, I have to register. Yes, okay. you have to register. Because that's when the system is going to send you a Zoom link. Okay. Uh, but if you're having trouble registering, I, it's, it's still my contest. So I will... Uh, I will be available there. And Avi is one of, sorry, I say Avi. Upai is one of the uh, Division M leadership team members. So we both will be participating remotely. 
So oh, let uh, Upayo or myself know if you are having trouble uh, registering. I'll, I'll go ahead and register for you. All right. District 56, is that correct? What's that? District 56. District 56, that's toastmasterseason.com. All right. Yes. All right. Anything else? All right. Thank you all so very much. This meeting is hereby adjourned, but people can stay on to chat if they have any questions. Thank you all so very much. And Mr. Distinguished Toastmaster Avi, please rest well, drink a lot of fluid. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. <laughs> Thank you all so very much. Bye. Yeah. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Yeah, good cheers. Night. Bye. Bye.